it's time to have some fun. I like burning pills. So ends the lesson. Yeah, why not? It's there. I don't have max it out yet. Good. The psalm is complete. That's an interesting. I can get this word of power. As shall send. Everything I said. I can't remember. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlia already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness. You know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carlia's close, I'm certain of it. Now let's get moving. your heart. Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. 
More than you'll ever realize. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus' murder. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus' remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Enther. Gallus' friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. He was a scholar, a master thief and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales and honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were very close. Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Remember, speak only to enter. Trust no one else. It's like Mercer Frey was the traitor from the Thieves Girls. Yes, yes, what is it? Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus' journal? A problem? Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning, Caselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstrosities, with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. 
I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. What of it? It's our inn, and they cause him no harm. So he needs to get into the one of the museum. I know how to do that. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. The Shuen Zell? The ruins underneath Markarth? The wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am I to stand in the way of curiosity? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in a Chuan Zell. My workers call her Nimi, the poisoned one. If you deal with Nimi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. What do you say? Enthusiasm. Good. Here's the key to the dig site. Now stand aside. There's work to be done. Yeah, it's that simple. Do this in pest control. And I can guess this is the Dwemer Museum. Time to head back. 